Well, for years, people on the Sawgrass side of the Everglades came to Holiday Park to go on an airboat ride, airboat ride, fish or recreate. But in the past year, the park has undergone nearly $16 million in improvements, transforming the space and making much of the park more accessible. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn takes us there with a closer look at the multi-million dollar makeover. We are on the edge of the Everglades. We call this the gateway to the Everglades because basically this park is where civilization ends for the most part. And if you head out west, you're going to find more and more Everglades. For years, Everglades Holiday Park has been home to airboat rides, boating and fishing. But wear and tear made it a bit dilapidated. Well, I think it was kind of unsafe. That's why Dan West, Broward County Parks and Recreation Director, tells us it was time to modernize the 39 acre park. Prior to this, there was nothing here. It was uh, part of the parking lot. And Sean Davis, the senior parks manager, gave us a tour of what's changed. Was that by having more of the boat ramps over by the airboat dock, there was a lot of uh, congestion with the pedestrians and them trying to back their boats and trailers into the water. Now, Holiday Park has been redesigned, giving fishermen a dock, one for airboat rides, and then three boat ramps on the west end. And if you've been here before, you might not notice this immediately, but everything is a little bit higher. One of the things we did was we raised the, the site level, the elevation of the site, almost two feet. Prior to the renovations, during a major storm, much of the park would flood when water was pumped out of nearby neighborhoods to protect homes. We actually put in a one and a half million, almost one and a half million dollar levee wall. The ribbon cutting for the completed project happens Thursday. But since the completion, park managers say visitor traffic already looks busier than before. And there's potential for more development, more trails, maybe even an observation deck. At Everglades Holiday Park, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News. And money for those renovations came from the Broward County Parks Capital Budget, the 2000 Safe Parks and Land Preservation, and South Florida Water Management District.